Buenos Aires was a vibrant and bustling city, full of opportunity for an immigrant with big ideas. Harry arrived in 1923 with just $60 in his pocket. He got a job as a telephone engineer. It didn't pay well, but Aristotle turned it into a golden opportunity. He would listen in on all the business calls going between Buenos Aires and London, Buenos Aires and New York, and would get a lot of tips from the businesses that were being discussed on the telephone. Ari used the information to set up contracts of his own. He soon began to make money. But whatever it was he made, every penny went into his wardrobe, into good shoes, into good suits, into good shirts. Ari had reinvented himself as an influential and successful businessman. He began to mix with the cream of Buenos Aires society. No one knew quite where he came from. They had no idea that when he left there, this man who appeared to have enormous sort of wealth would go and change his clothes, go to the telephone exchange and become a telephonist. In the mid-1920s, Ari listened into a phone call that would change his life. A new film starring Rudolf Valentino had made it fashionable among women in the United States to smoke. Ari decided to produce his own brand of cigarettes, aimed exclusively at women in Argentina. 